<laughs> guns, guns are good. I got a brand new sign that's on my lawn and it says, criminals, y'all gonna break in, but you ain't gonna be walking out. Replaced the old sign that I had and it said this, it said, my neighbor is a liberal. He likes gun control, break in there. It's safer. Hey, I just wanna make sure those criminals are safe and they don't get hurt, you know, give them good direction. In Australia, there's a political party that is named this Shooters and Fishers Party. Oh, that's pretty cool stuff. Many years ago, many, probably in the mid-90s, I guess, in Australia, all of a sudden their uh, prime minister said, I'm going to take away guns from everyone who didn't do these awful crimes. And he was successful in doing that. He got legislation passed. And a group of guys got together and said, you know what, we're not going to stand for this. We're going to form our own party. Typically, those things come and go rapidly. This one hasn't. They actually have elected members in parliament, and they're a force now. There's a minority government there state-wise. And these guys are looked to to kind of keep the balance up. And there's another election coming up next year, 2015. I wish them well. And I'm looking forward to chatting with them. We're having an interview, a live interview with their leader. It'll be on our TV section or in our TV section at rightedition.com within, oh, I don't know, about two weeks from now or so. So keep an eye out for that. Shooters and Fishers, a party who would have thunk it. The Georgia House of Representatives there, basically, they are their own party, not unlike the one in Australia. They came out recently, October, pardon me, February 18th, I'll get it right, and passed a bill that allows guns at schools, churches, bars, and government buildings. The margin of uh, success of the vote was 119 to 56, so hey, the elected people knew and know what the people want. How about safety? It's called this, the Safe Carry Protection Act. That's pretty cool. I mean, the criminals now are saying, oops, we used to have gun-free zones. We're the only ones that could go into them safely and get our job done. And now other people are carrying guns. Maybe we should get a new line of work. Better yet, go to work, get a real job in Kentucky. The Baptist church is there. There's a group of them. They figured it out as well. They said, you know, there's a bunch of rednecks around here that don't attend church. How are we going to get them here? I got it. So said one pastor, let's give away guns. Guns? Yeah, yeah. They talked it over and they did it. They said, come to church, listen to us, we'll give you a firearm. 1,000 men attended church one day and got their guns in there coming back all of the time. Thanks God for that gun. I mean, you know, do whatever works. And for them, it certainly worked. You gotta, uh, you gotta know what attracts people. Hey, San Francisco, here's a woman that should find God or somebody. She's the attorney general. And she says, I'm gonna challenge the federal appeals court ruling that requires counties to give law-abiding residents permits to carry concealed guns, to look after themselves. A citizen shouldn't be able to do that. I'm a commie girl and I know better than anybody else. Let's have restrictions. You know what? Let's make it impossible for people to defend themselves in public. Oh my, they continue to walk among us just dumb as hammers. And to all you men that are uh, watching this program right now, get a gun. Your family is worth protecting.